there lovely souls and welcome or welcome back to the Heartfelt Tarot if you guys are new to the channel welcome to my returning subscribers thank you so much like always guys for your continued support and to my uh, new subscribers welcome to the family guys it's a pleasure to have you here and thank you so much for your support and uh, yeah we have this special uh, reading intitulated uh, you versus them it's going to be a timeless low reading so whenever you guys are uh, coming across this uh, video that means there are some messages maybe for you here to hear at the moment and we are going to uncover the energy challenges blessings that are uh, defining your romantic connection this could be about your uh, current partner uh, new romantic interest a crush uh, someone from your past here so whoever you guys are thinking of and want to uh, find out how they feel about you versus how you feel about them this is the right reading for you we have for the pile number one this image here with the red jasper crystal for pile number two we have this image with the amethyst crystal and for pile number three we have this image right here on my left side with the um, clear quartz crystal take a moment guys see which card or crystal draws to you the most while you're thinking about this person and let's dive right into it My pile number one, if you guys been drawn to this uh, red, red jasper crystal uh, or to this image here, let's see the message for you here. You have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist the change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow, you'll be surprised where it leads. So this tells me that uh, you might be in a new connection or in a connection where the uh, status of your connection here or relationship with this person it's a bit confusing you're not entirely sure if uh, you guys are uh, item or not here um, I'm getting that someone here kind of wants to rush the things here to just jump into this connection while the other person kind of wants to go with the flow here uh, for others of you I'm getting that um, someone here is not ready um, at the moment to dive into connections maybe there is some healing that needs to be done before you guys can uh, become uh, an item with this person here maybe from your side maybe from their side maybe they've been through uh, connections in the past where have just led them to the, the worst outcomes here and they kind of lost uh, trust into people or maybe this is your energy here pile one i'm not sure uh, just take it as it, as it resonates here also i'm getting that um this connection um here or the journey in this connection with this person is not meant to be static but filled with this continual motion and evolution so the shifting cycles are a reminder that your relationship will go through phases and each and one of them uh, has their own set of lessons and experiences here um uh, could be that uh, someone uh, is resisting to change um or resisting the connection here uh, as I said could be that uh, someone wants to have this connection wants to rush in and even if the other person here it feels that there are feelings um, they kind of want to I feel like they're not prepared and kind of re resisting to make any change when it comes to this connection so I, I feel like this is leading uh, you guys to feel tension uh, towards one another to be stressed about this connection because it, there is a, a level of uncertainty here that it's just uh, surrounding uh, surrounding this uh, reading is what i'm getting so uh, this card just invites you guys to trust the process of transformation maybe you need to let go of uh, rigid expectations that you're having here and just be open to this connection and let it uh, lead you or just let um, the currents of change to lead you towards this uh, um, a uh, new path in this connection here uh, i feel like they're going to lead to this more deeper and more fulfilling bond here the moment you guys decide to go with the flow uh, in this connection actually let me see if i can put it here okay so whoops 
for my pile number one. Let's see what the tarot has to say here regarding this person. So my pile number one and the person under mine, show me the messages that I need to see here for my pile number one. Show me the messages that I need to see for my pile number one here and the person under mine. The card keeps wanting to jump from the deck. So, my pile number one, let's see how your person is currently feeling about you here. You have the four of uh, cups here. So, this person is uh, currently feeling that um, you might not be uh, satisfied with them or with the connection here. Um, that uh, you might have be bored of uh, the way they've been acting with you here. Um, do you feel like um, they're, um, they haven't offered you everything that you needed here with the four of uh, waters? Um, they are like kind of feeling that they're missing on this opportunity here for not being more engaged and more, in, more involved in the connection with you here uh the kind of missing uh, some things here um maybe they're being distracted by uh, hobbies other things in life here as well or maybe they feel that you're the one that is feeling distracted here they feel discontentment or they're feeling a bit bored at the moment they might be lost in their own world and they realize that uh, they need to be more uh, woken up here they need to uh, wake up to this connection as well they are feeling that they should come towards you with a more stable um um, um offer towards you here when it comes to this connection as well because I'm, I'm getting that this person is realizing and they're feeling that they haven't really treated you the way you should have been treated here in this connection with them they kind of uh, let this connection to just pass by them even though there is compat uh, compatibility here between you and them even though if this person has feelings for you with the four of cups i feel like they are uh, uh, having deep feelings towards you but they maybe never showed uh, them to you here uh, they're a bit scared uh, if they open up you won't um, in the end you're going to be the one that it's uh, going to betray them here and make them suffer i feel like this person needs to do some healing here from whatever happened in their past um yeah let's see uh your current feeling towards uh, feelings towards this person here you have the Knight of Wands. You are feeling like this person is keep coming in and out of your life here. Even though there is the passion here, you're finding this person to be very confident. Or maybe you're the one that is being confident when it comes to this uh, connection. You're like, you want to rush in, as I said, in this connection. You're uh, being a bit rentless when it comes to this connection. You're feeling like this person, uh, it's just um, using you in some sort of way you're feeling like this person it's kind of a player has this plan energy that as i said this came coming back in and out of your life here but you're being very passionate about this person you're uh, finding them to be very uh, charismatic here um and you want them to take some sort of action or you're hoping that they'll rush you back into your life here um but um, I'm sensing that this person is like having times when they're like pulling you towards them and they're having times after they've been uh, getting you closer to them they might get scared at some point and they're pushing you away again they're building the uh, the walls up and they're hiding behind them and you're like what's going on why they're acting like this today they want me next day they just out 
act uh, act all cold toward me they're ignoring me they're not replying my messages or maybe they're just replying with this uh, very casual conversations here and you're a bit confused i'm getting here this is causing a lot of tension between you and them is what i'm getting let's see their current uh, intentions here towards you three of wands here so this person in the making plans here for the long term with you um they're a bit patient at the moment because they want to make sure that whatever they choose to do next here in the connection towards you it's something that will benefit both of you on the long uh, plan here on the long term sorry um there is going to be an opportunity here i'm getting if you guys been waiting for this message uh, for uh, for the person to message you for some time now uh they will your ships are about to arrive here so you'll have some sort of opportunity with this person maybe this person wishes to have another opportunity with you here in their intentions they want to offer a new opportunity to this connection here and i'm seeing them making plans here and your intentions here towards this person it's renewal you just want to have a new beginning you just want to let go of the past here you just want to have understanding in this connection you just want to build something with this person here you just want to renew the past with uh, compassion forgiveness you want to forgive this person and you just want this connection to go in the new direction here and um you're hoping that this person will do the same here. I see you being very compassionate towards this person here. Let's see the blockages for you. Seven of Cups. So there is, as I said, the blockage here is like that un the uncertainty here. There is some... Un things need to be cleared out between you and this person you need to i don't know have this conversation or you're waiting for a conversation from this person to let you know what with this uh, in and out energy why they keep rushing in and out of your life here because this is causing you a lot of confusion here maybe as i said someone here with the seven of cups in the blockage it's not able to decide if they want to uh, um, put in more effort into this connection they are not sure if uh, you're the one they want to settle down with maybe they have more options they need to explore or they want to explore at the moment or maybe they are a bit confused if uh, if they will give a chance to this connection they are scared and confused if the past will repeat if this person is just someone here it's over analyzing here and instead of taking action you guys are just uh, pro uh, procrastinating here and there is some sense of clarity that needs to um uh happen here uh in order for this blockage to be lifted someone here it's not sure how if this is what they desire or not or if they should move forward from this connection and leave it behind or not here as i said for others of you this could be that there are multiple options that this person might have and want to explore here before they um settle down with you and your advice here my pile one <sighs> working together so the advice here is to um, um do what you love if you feel like this connection it's right for you deep down just keep putting in the effort here it's going to pay off here for you um for others of you maybe you need to focus more on your uh, work and uh, on your hobbies and do whatever you like uh, more instead of just uh, giving and putting all your efforts in a connection that you're not even certain of the outcome here um so yeah you might be even be working with this person for some of you is what i'm getting you guys might have had the project together here or some uh, of some kind of sort but um 
the advice overall as i said if this feels right uh, to you here if this connection feels like it has potential and you guys can work together here um just put in the, uh, the advice is for both of you to just come and work together for um the better of this connection here and you also have at the bottom of the deck the overall energy you have the awakening the hangman energy here um i'm getting that you guys might have took a pause from this connection or from this person here you guys are reflecting upon what happened and as i said if you guys should give one another chance or not to this connection um before you guys are taking this decision here i feel like you're just uh, analyzing the situation here and i feel like you should trust your intuition here my file number one when it comes to this connection don't let any terror reader uh, reader story or anyone else to uh, tell you what to do when it comes to your uh, own life here and I feel like that's what you're doing. You're just uh, trying to analyze and um, so, uh, um, observe the situation and observe what this person is going to do next is what I'm getting. Um, let's see here. For my pile number one, why is the four of cups here in their person feelings? I feel like this one wanted to come out. Oops. So, in their feelings, they're thinking about giving this uh, um, connection another chance here. The Two of Cups. They want to have this partnership with you. As I said, this person has deep feelings for you here. That's how they feel. They feel like you could be their soulmate here with the Two of Cups, Four of uh, Cups. Um, they, I'm seeing this person wanting to give another chance here to this connection for sure. I'm going to put this one here. Maybe it's stop falling down. <laughs> okay. So why is the four of cups here for my pile number one? And the person feelings. Hmm. Too many cards here. Okay, why is the Four of Cups? Wait, the Two of Cups here. Clarify the Four of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing this person rushing in towards you. Um, they they will come towards you super fast with some sort of communication here with the Knight of Swords. Uh, they want to have this. They want to chase you is what I'm getting. That's what they feel at the moment. They feel like they should chase this connection here. They want to see where this connection is going and they're uh, they want to offer you a partnership here page of pentacles they will come in with uh, some sort of communication but again uh, i'm getting that this person wants to go with the flow they will like be like okay you know i have feelings for you um i want to see where this connection goes but let's take it slowly maybe this person is going through a more stressful period uh in their lifetime at the moment then they need to take the thing slowly here so i'm seeing communication from this person here they want to make you an offer but and this is uh, coming from um not something great uh, grandiose here they won't be like oh um sing you serenades about their life and put themselves in a knee and ask you to marry them they just want to take it slowly as friends um one uh, step at a time every day i'm getting here let's see why you're feeling towards them here my pile number one the knight of pentic uh, fire Oh, forgot to say, you might be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. You have the water with the fire sign here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or um, Leo. Also, you have a Scorpio energy, another Scorpio energy here. Uh, you have a bit of air, uh, Earth as well, a Gemini, um, Taurus, or a Capricorn, and more water sign. And a bit of air here with this uh, Knight of Words, Ace of Swords, uh, more uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini energy here. So 
you you feel like in your feelings you're like okay uh, we need to have a conversation an honest conversation and you want to know what's going on with this person you, you want to know why they keep coming uh, in and out of your life why they keep every time you seem like the things are going well between them you feel like this person is just getting scared off and they're running away from you is what i'm getting and you want to try to understand them here you want some sort of clarity you want to make a choice here but you're not sure how to proceed unless you're getting your clarity and your uh, conversation with this person to understand them here um that's how you feel here you feel like they need to come in and give you an an honest answer here regarding how they see this connection how they see you how their feelings towards you uh, what are their plans uh, for the long term here with you so you can know how to proceed forward you see that you you're uh, seeing this person that you can be having this stable connection with here in your feelings uh, you're very nurturing here. You're seeing this person to be very kind and generous as well. But that in and out energy is like getting you so confused regarding... Um, you're not sure if there is another person into your life here or not. To be honest with the Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles here. Uh, you, you, you just want to know if it's another person that's just... Uh, between you and this person here you just feel like you need to know the truth and you're just analyzing to see how this person will proceed here is this uh, something based on your own passion or there are there is something deeper to this connection do they want to proceed forward with this connection do they want uh, to have this um, commitment with me or not Let's see, why is the three of uh, ones in their intentions towards my pile number one here? Mm, uh, King of Cups here. Definitely, as I said, this person loves you deeply here. And their intentions is whatever uh, their uh, plans are making uh, for the long term, they are doing it with love here. And you have the Queen of Pentacles as well here. So I'm getting that like this person wants a long-term stability when it comes to this connection. Um, they want to be more generous with that Queen of Pentacles here when it comes to their uh, emotions with their involvement in this connection as well. Let's see, why is the three of fire here you also have the king of wands so they want to put their heart and passion into this connection here and i am seeing this person uh coming in uh, towards you here with communication um because they still have a lot of love and passion they're being still attracted towards you here my pile number one but I, I'm not sure they will reveal everything of how they feel towards you here. They want to have this achievement with you here. Their intention is to start something new. If the things have ended between you and this person, they want to have this uh, a new beginning here and try a new here. For others of you, this person could be living at a distance with the world card here. They could be living in another city, another uh, um, country here. Maybe you guys have met them online, especially the three of uh ones and the world card here maybe they're, they want to look for the ways for the long term on how to close the gap here between you and them maybe that's what scares them uh, if you guys are in this long term connection here with this person maybe they're scared that uh, they cannot provide you the love you need because they cannot be there for you maybe they're scared that they cannot be there for you and this is like putting a lot of stress and tension on this person here 
but in their intentions is to uh, have this practical plan for the long term uh, where they put their passion and uh, they want to take action with love here let's see uh, your intention here with the renewal towards this person here clarify the renewal here for my pile Clarify the renewal for my pile number one card here. Yeah, your intention here is to have a new beginning and start something new here. Have victory here towards uh, this person. You again, uh, maybe your uh, intention also is to move uh, closer to them or you want them to move closer to you or visit you or visit them here uh you just uh want a new beginning one that um again i see you wanting that fast movement here with the chariot you might be dealing with a cancer here or again more cancer energy or uh, pisces scorpio also aries sagittarius leo energy their intentions as well is to love you and to offer you a loyalty here with the uh, king of wands and king of cups as well and your intention is to move this connection forward uh, to have a new beginning with this person you want this person to um stop being so immature when it comes to their, to their communication you want this person to be more open up and be more expressive in their words here as well to uh, communicate more about their feelings about uh, how anything you want them to be open to communication with you but i feel like this person uh, is not that good at communicating with people here or opening up i feel like you want them to open up towards you and i'm not sure if this person is capable at the moment of doing so uh seven of cups here in the blockage for my pile number one why is the seven of cups here in the blockage for pile number one Uh, the blockage is here that both of you have been through hard times here with the nine of wands, seven of cups. Uh, there is this, as I said, sense of confusion uh, between you and this person here. There is a need of clarity to happen uh, for this blockage uh, to be lifted here for both of you to have this uh, deep connection here with one another. Uh, but both of you been through so much in life or when it comes to their to connections here that you want to fight uh, again but you're feeling like what if i put another effort in another connection where it's not gonna lead me to anywhere uh, especially with that night of wand energy where the, the energy is like in and out in and out here Like, you both want to fight for this connection, you both want to have this connection, but there is that sense of needing clarity. Uh, you both need to have this honest communication here, and, and uh, I feel like you've been fighting for the wrong connections before, that now, even if this connection is the right one for you, you're not sure you want to fight anymore. You're not sure you want to go through that pain again. You're not sure you want to risk it again here. Let's see your advice here with the Three of Pentacles. Knight of, uh, King of Pentacles here. So, um, focus on your money at the moment for some of you. Just, uh, observe this person see uh, how they will approach you uh, how they will come again uh, towards you here and for others of you as i said um, you should work on this connection with this person you both need to put that effort in if you want to have that stability in the connection here both of you need to put the effort here not only one person and the other one to just run away all the time and then when they feel like oh my god what have i done that they realize that they acted uh, 
stupid in the connection they're like oh no i need to uh, look for my pile number one and see what she's doing or what he's doing here or what they're doing uh and pull you back into their life and uh, make you feel that okay there is a chance for us and after that when you think that okay um the uh, things are going to change this time they're running off again uh, so I'm getting that your advice is that both of you need to work here. Just do uh, whatever you guys like. Uh, focus on your hobbies for now. Focus on your uh, money. Focus on your uh, on yourself. On doing what you like here, and just observe and let this person to come towards you with communication here first. Okay, so my pile number one. I'm gonna draw some messages oracle messages for you and see what else how this person feels toward you here yeah that confusion uh, at the moment this person feelings towards you are over the place like they have feelings towards you but they're angry maybe at themselves here because the way uh, uh, things have ended maybe because of the conflicts you guys been having maybe because you guys cannot find the middle ground when it comes to this connection because someone here as I said who wants to rush in and the other one wants to go with the flow take it slowly take it at their own piece and um, I don't know someone here needs to heal for sure but they're a bit angry here uh, I don't know if they're angry at you uh, for something that you've done or they just are angry at themselves here at the moment because of some sort of conflicts here that happened between you and them maybe you guys had this huge fight before you guys broken up and uh, now they're angry for uh, reacting the way they reacted here. Anything else for my pile number one? How is this person feeling towards my pile number one? The Rainbow River. Again, um, they want to go with the flow here. It's that uh, carefree energy, hoping that everything in the end is going to be okay after the um, conflict or of, after the rage after that rainy day, uh, the rainbow will come. So again, um, they're hoping that things will change between you and them. You guys can come again together uh, to that um a peace of a state of mind here or can make peace between one another have that happiness that joy again uh, feel free contentment in the relationship and they feel love towards you here uh, at the bottom of the deck you have the love so this person definitely has love towards you but at the same time with the swing they just go with the wind whenever uh, the swing is taking them so uh, again that go with the flow they want to just not rush into anything at the moment they want to be a bit careful this person is what I'm getting or maybe this is your energy here I'm not sure take it as it resonates uh, how is this person feeling towards my pile number one here? Hmm. Wandering path. Enjoy enjoy the journey. So as again, that go with the flow. They just want to see where this connection takes them without feeling the pressure of being in this commitment relationship, without feeling the pressure of needing to give you attention all the time of uh, calling you out of messaging you uh, i don't know this person needs a bit different from the usual type of uh, persons that you're usually dating is what i'm getting here so they just want to see where this will take them they are ready to explore this um connection but they just want to enjoy it without uh, feeling tied up to this connection here without having the responsibilities that the connection comes to it for at least at the moment uh, so how is this person feeling towards my pile number one here i'm 
anxiety. As I said, I feel like this person is having, it's being stressed out. It's causing a lot of anxiety here to them, knowing that uh, they need to commit. Maybe there are, this person is someone that uh, it's hard to get committed to relationships, but when they do it, uh, that's where their loyalty is going to lie down and they will put all the effort in and they will just give you uh, the connection that you always wanted. It's just that until they get um, accommodated with the idea of this connection, of seeing how the things are, of letting this person, giving them the time to just fall in love with you and deepen the bond between you, let them know you more, uh, this will cause a lot of stress to them and anxiety. Maybe that's why they're scared of just jumping into anything at the moment. Um, and again, thinking man, this person is that thinking man is like that three of uh, one's energy. Uh, they're strategizing, they're making some sort of strategy, they're looking at you, they realize that they have something of value here in their hand uh, and they're not sure what to do with it now in this time of uh, at the moment. But they, they, they see your worth and value for sure. Anything else here? How else this person feels towards my pile number one here? Bliss. Number 30 here. Uh, they could be age of 24, 18 for others of you or 30. doesn't have to be, of course. But uh, as I said, this is your worth, this is your value. You're just making this person feel like they're super attracted to you. They might have a foot fetish for some of you is what I'm getting here. And this could be um, they, that this person might have Jupiter in their uh, chart here. Doesn't have to be. But I feel like this person is very drawn to you, very sexually attracted to you here. As I said, they could have a foot fetish here. This person, I feel like you're driving them crazy every time they think of you, of your body, of the way you look. This is driving them crazy. Uh, they just want to take care of you and your needs when it comes to the sexual life here as well. Um, I'm getting that uh, this person is kind of, uh, if you guys are um, not uh, in a long-term relation, in a long-distance, sorry, relationship and you actually met them physically, this person is being drawn, uh, drawn and driven crazy by, the, uh, by your scent here as well. But you're bringing a lot of bliss into this person's life here. Uh, let's see some zodiacal signs here for you, my pile number one. You have Earth sign. Um, they could be 26 for some of you. Uh, for others of you, this could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini. You also have here another Capricorn, a lot of heavy Capricorn <laughs> on this reading here for some of you. Let's see. For pile number one, what zodiacal sign this person could have? You also have cancer energy for others of you, and for others of you, this could be a fire sign. Uh, this could be your sign or their zone. Doesn't have to be. And let's grab some initials here. For my pile number one, let's see some initials here. So you have here R, another R, I. N for some of you, F, S, another F, and V. This could be your initials or their initials, but uh, you also have Virgo at the underneath it, apparently wanted to reveal itself. Um, so yeah, this is what I have for you guys. If this resonated with you, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know, put an emoji, anything there, so I know that it resonated with you. If you feel like it, of course. And um, 
I'll appreciate if you guys can leave a thumbs up or like to this video. It will help me grow uh, a lot. This channel uh, needs some growing, some love from your side here. I'm just doing it as a hobby. I'm not taking or charging money for this. So if you want to help this channel out, uh, I will be much appreciative of you. And consider subscribing if you haven't done that already, of course. And if you want to see more videos like this one, uh, I have more uh, timeless readings on the channel. So feel free to check them out. Thank you guys so much. I hope you'll have a wonderful day or night, depending on the time zone you're watching this. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully, bye. my pile number two if you guys be drawn to this amethyst crystal or to this image here this is going to be your message regarding your reading let's see what you have manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become reality trust your heart and continue to follow it guidance so this tells me that um there is a lot of hope and positive energy here regarding your reading uh i feel like you're just going to manifest the heart's desires here in your romantic uh, life here uh, i'm getting that this card it's a beautiful omen for you tells me that your dreams you've been nurturing are about to unfold into your reality here uh, i feel like this is a message of uh, affirmation here to maintain your faith and listen closely to your intuition as well uh, because your heart's guidance um, has been steering you on this path of love and it's important to con uh, to continue trusting in its uh, wisdom here so uh, with these uh, miracles here the presence of the miracles world here i'm getting that uh, uh, implies that even if uh, circumstances might seem unlikely or challenging at the moment there is a higher force at work uh, that is bringing your dreams to fruition here um, this could be a blossoming of a relationship if you guys are asking about your crush here or someone you'll be flirting with. Um, this could be a deepening of an existing bond with someone or maybe for some of you this could be just a arrival of a new love here, in, uh, a new person that's coming into your life here that's going to impact your love life so keep your heart open stay aligned with your truth and be ready to welcome this uh, uh, miraculous transformative energy that's uh, waiting for you is what i'm getting here my pile number two actually let's leave this message here for you and jump to the tarot and see what messages it has for you actually i should move the camera a bit just a second Okay, I needed a bit more room to work with, so I don't hit the camera again. So, for my pile number two here and the person on their mind, show me the messages I need to see here for my pile number two and the person on their mind. So, for my pile number two and the person on their mind, show me the messages that I need to see. So, now this person current feelings towards you here, you have, wow, <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. So, uh, either a new beginning uh, between you and the person you're asking about, either just the beginning between you and them. I see here um, good fortune coming your way here. This person wants something uh, that is going to materialize here with you. They want a stable relationship. They want to have something with you. Maybe even build a home. Purchase a home with you. Uh, have a family here. Learn new things maybe for some of you. Um, this person definitely uh, sees her new beginning here. That will bring a lot of abundance. And this is what they want here. In their current feelings towards you. They want a new beginning. Maybe they also want to learn more about you here. Um, let's see your uh, feelings towards this person. You have eight of swords here. Uh, you're having some sort of fears when it comes to this person here. You're not entirely sure that uh, you're being blindsided by um, 
something here when it comes to the relationship with this person here um maybe you're lacking confidence here uh, is what i'm getting maybe you're make um just feeling a bit helpless uh, you're afraid maybe to jump in a, a connection with this person for some of you um you're a bit afraid of moving forward here with this person for some reasons you have some fears or worries but this is just in your mind here i don't know why let's see this person intentions towards you their intention is to have this uh, happy family happy marriage here happily ever after here they want to have this emotional contentment with you they want to have this rom loving relationship with you as well they for some of you maybe this person wishes to have kids with you um they uh their intention is to gain your trust as well for some of you it's what i'm getting here uh, your intentions towards this person here you have the queen of wands here uh you just uh want to keep your independence here <laughs> uh you're kind of trying to control the situation and the relationship with this person is what i'm getting um you're being very confident you know your worth and you know that uh um you're very attractive and you know that this person finds you to be very attractive here but i see you stepping into your power here your intention is to be more confident when it comes to this person especially if you've been laughing uh, lacking this self-confidence i'm getting that your intention is to gain it here and let's see the blockage between you and this person here the blockage is here five of waters um someone here it's uh, focusing on the negative aspects of this relationship or maybe your uh, um past encounters here past relationships past experiences uh might have made you feel um, or focus on these negative thoughts here is what i'm getting my pile number two and this is your blockage here you just need to um focus on the on this current relationship and not be stuck in the past is what i'm getting um you need to see the hidden blessings that are being offered to you here by the universe but i feel like you're being trapped into your own man mind here and you lack this confidence you're feeling maybe that this person is too good to uh this is a person sorry it's too good to, uh, good to be true for you here like this connection is like oh my god it feels so nice so good what if i will get hurt again what if i uh, will be disappointed why what if the things will not go as i anticipated and you're just focused on the negative aspects of this relationship or maybe this person is doing so as well but i feel like it's more you here that is doing so due to the lack of confidence you're having here and that eight of uh, swords energies uh let's see your advice here the three of cups here your advice is to just uh giving in on this connection here just enjoy the moment the present moment with this person just enjoy any opportunity you guys are having to connect with one another here um just be grateful for what you're having at the moment and stop feeling stuck on the past experiences is what i'm getting for you here my pile number two okay this card doesn't want to stay here i'll just I move it on the side here for now or just leave it like this here uh, i don't know it's annoying <laughs> sorry for that uh let's see the overall energy here you have the king of cups so as overall energy i see this person having strong feelings towards you here there's someone that you can trust there someone that's uh, very honest very honorable very devoted to this connection uh they could be a bit cautious at time maybe they're not always expressing how they feel towards you here but their uh, feelings towards you my pal too are genuine here um you have a solid uh, romantic relationship with this person here they have this hidden but well-intended emotions towards you here 
and underneath it it's like ten of a pen, uh, pentacles here so this person would really wants to have this stable foundation uh family uh take the relationship to the next level here i feel like you're the one that is having these trust issues is what i'm getting uh you're always seeing the bad uh in every situation you're being afraid uh, i don't know why let's uh, clarify here what's going on this could be a new beginning in love uh, for some of you a totally new person a new love and maybe because you've been scarred to, to the past relationships uh, you've been through you're being afraid uh, to trust people anymore you feel like you'll always get disappointed no matter what here you can't have your happiness but i see you in your irritations with this connection you want to change that you want to gain back your confidence here you want to step into that queen of wands energy here so why is the page of pentacles here in this person feelings new beginnings here so whoever this person is who they want to have a new beginning with you here for sure they want to give you some sort of clarity they want to uh just express how they feel honestly towards you here they want to celebrate with you they want to have this um stability they might even want to move in with together with you for some of you not for everyone of course but this person um uh, maybe they want to uh, have some sort of clarity as well here maybe they feel like they need to bring some clarity towards you here uh, regarding how they view this connection how they feel about this connection here or maybe this is a new connection here that if you guys um can trust it. i feel like you guys can trust it because this person is coming with honesty towards you they they just have good intentions from what i'm seeing here and yeah they they want to just um, feel this harmony stability at peace with you here this is in their intention they want to build a strong foundation with you here uh when it comes to this connection why is the ace of pentacles with the ace of swords here for my pile? Oh, this one wanted to come out. The king of pentacles. Uh, I see here a lot of air signs. So you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn. You also have ace of swords. So that could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius here. Again, more air sign. Uh, you also have a lot of water sign here over this reading uh cancer scorpio or pisces and with the fire energy this could be an uh, aries leo or um, uh, sagittarius here but i see this person uh wanting to just um, give you their time maybe even help you with money here if you're going through a uh, hard um, um situation at the moment they are one they want to be a provider they want to provide for you your house here they want to help you with um the expenses you're going uh, to have to pay for the house maybe they want to buy a house is what i'm seeing here they want to move together with you uh i see this person wanting to be a provider here for you that's it what they want to do uh, regarding you and how they are feeling towards you here um they feel a lot of stability when it comes to you here let's see why is the eight of uh, swords here so why is the eight of swords here clarify the eight of swords page of wands you feel like uh, there are few things you need to find out or maybe uh, you feel like there are new things you need to learn before you can fully trust this person before you can um, have your confidence with this person is what i'm getting here or maybe you'll learn something that made you um, lose your confidence here but with the page of wands here uh, i'm getting that you're uh, willing to go on adventure with this person uh, 
I see this person coming in with some sort of offer towards you here as well. Um, I'm getting that you're excited, even though you're lacking the confidence, you're being excited when it comes to this relationship here. Um, but you're feeling that spark here with this person. This person kind of uh, ignited your heart here. Or maybe if you guys are manifesting a new person into your life, I feel like you're acting with cautious here at the beginning, but uh, I still wanting to take action towards this person. You want to chase this connection as well. So I'm getting that the um, feelings are kind of mutual between you and whoever it's on your mind here. Why is the Ace of uh, uh, Sorry, uh, Eight of uh, Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is this Eight of Swords here? Okay. Yeah, you you want to create something with this person. You might even maybe you're the one that actually wants to have a child with this person. Uh, doesn't have to be, but I see you putting energy, effort here to have a new beginning maybe with this person and just creating something here beautiful between you and them. You want to have this stability, abundance as well. Um with them even though you're a bit afraid and you're kind of lacking uh, balance here a bit uh, in your thought is what i'm getting you're a bit unsure if you should actually give it uh, give in to this energy or not you're a bit afraid that it's going to um, bite you later on why because you're stuck uh, in the black position here you're stuck in your negative thoughts here you all keep thinking about um your past relationships and you're like okay if that happens so many times uh, it's going to happen again i'll be disappointed again nothing is going as i planned as i wished as i dreamed for but uh, be careful because you have here manifesting miracles, so don't give in in this uh, negative energy here, my pile uh, number two. Why is the ten of uh, water here? Clarify the ten of water. Whoops. This person wants to bring stability here with the two of pentacles. Uh, in the irritations here, uh, even if they've been uh, juggling in the past, maybe for some of you, multiple aspects of their life here, or maybe they were not decided if they want to have this uh, uh, commitment relationship with you. I feel like they, they are ready now to put in uh, their effort and give in uh, this connection as well. They want to reciprocate here to have this give and take. They want to they wanna provide for you with the six of pentacles as well they just want to offer you now um, that equal energy that balance in the connection they want to have this balanced connection between giving and taking and receiving here let's see why it's the oops why is the this ten of uh, cups here Temperance again speaks of they want to heal this connection uh, that's in their intention to bring balance into your life here is what I'm getting with the temperance card um, they might be moving a bit slow here with the temperance they might be taking their time here uh, maybe this connection it's not moving very fast here but it needs some healing to be done here and they're willing to heal uh, the connection between you and them here or whatever been into the, the their past Last year they they are working on healing themselves that intending their intention here as i said if things were unbalanced in the past i feel like this person wants to bring uh, balance now into the connection with you 
and you also have page of cups so for some of you maybe this person will come in with communication here with uh, um, apologizing to you if uh, they've done something that uh, made you um, feel disappointed of this connection um, I see them coming and apologizing here but definitely um, they have genuine feelings towards you here and they want to explore this connection I feel like for some of you this is something new here to be honest this could be a new connection okay why is this uh, queen of fire here clarify the queen of wands and nine of pentacles here your intention is to focus on your well-being, on yourself here, on your abundance, on your money. Uh, you're afraid to jump into this connection at the moment here. Why? Because uh, something has happened here that kind of shaken your ground here, made you lack your confidence lose the confidence here uh, maybe things were a bit unjust between you and this person here and uh, bef um, until this person will come right towards you here until this person will balance the scales between you and them here i feel like you're going to focus on yourself here most likely uh that's your intention here okay let's see why is the queen of wands with the nine of uh, pentacles here for a want yeah you want this stability your intention is to come in together uh, with this person here reconcile uh, reconciliate sorry if you guys um been through a breakup here you want to give this connection another chance here but most importantly for you here your intention is to find your stability within yourself which is good i like your energy uh four of swords i'm getting that might have been a break a uh, breakup between you and this person maybe you're uh, not in communication with this person is what i'm getting at the moment uh, but I see uh, an offer coming from this person and this honest communication that will bring some clarity here that will um, bring healing and balance into this connection here and uh, for others of you I'm getting that um, after you guys been going through healing period of time from a, another um, relationship here you're manifesting someone that will bring you a lot of healing peace stability here um it will be uh, your uh, dream that will come into reality here someone that actually has genuine feelings towards you here why is this five of uh, cups here for my pile number two clarify the five of cups yeah in order to have this happiness this wish fulfillment relationship you need to change your focus from um having this lack of trust lack of confidence here even if you guys are going through some sort of challenges here you need to switch your focus here okay why is the three of uh, waters here clarify the three of waters yeah you need to move forward uh, from your advice here is to just be um, be in the moment here just uh, celebrate and uh, have fun with this person whenever you can here doesn't have to be um, you putting effort energy into it just uh, enjoy it just live the moment here uh, even as friends here at the moment um, this is going to be essential for you to guys to move away um, from any uh, past negativity here to heal and that's when you and this person will come in uh, together here for some of you this could be someone that's traveling from the distance towards you here to have this reconciliation here i'm getting as well if this is what you wanted anyway let's uh let's see what else 
how is this person currently feeling towards my pile number two desire so their heart is desiring for you here this person i see them having this uh uh what's called genuine feelings towards you here with the desire card they they want you they want this connection here with you let's see what else how is this person feeling towards my pile number two here okay you have intimacy card so this person wants to spend as much time with you alone here in intimacy they want to just enjoy every moment with you here is what i'm getting uh they might want to have this romantic uh, bath with you like lit the candles take a bath that will lead to another thing but um they just want to feel this connection and they want to spend as much uh, time uh, with you here as possible uh, just the two of you here they love uh, spending their time with you in their in your intimacy here you also have connection here um, I'm getting that this person uh, it's maybe a romantic here at heart they are someone that will uh, put in some music invite you to dance with them maybe you guys are having a song that uh, um you guys are sharing with this person it's your song and their song here and every time you guys are hearing it or they are hearing it they're being reminded of you uh they will take you out on a dinner uh, maybe somewhere where you guys can have some fun dance relax uh feel good is what i'm getting but with the letter here expect some love messages from this person here there is a deep connection i'm getting with that card between you and this person uh, yeah especially with the desire card here they want you my pile too how else is this person feeling towards my pile too here You have grounding, go deep, explore your roots. I feel like, yeah, well, it's that ten of uh, pentacles, ten of cups energy. They want to ground this relationship here. They want to have this stable connection. For some of you, this could mean that they want to move in together with you here. They just want to explore uh, this connection. They feel like there is um, uh, more to this connection than... Um, it's being let on at the moment they feel like this deep bond with you here is what i'm getting uh, for others of you you also have transformation a fresh new way of living emerges so uh, if this is someone from your past here that you guys been manifesting into your life to so have this renewed connection with them i feel like uh, it's going to transform uh, dramatically from uh, the way they've been in the past year let's see how else is this person currently feeling towards my pile number two here oh, wow you have a man holding a heart here age of both maybe they are 45 maybe you guys are for some of you could be 18 doesn't have to be um again those uh um, burning desires uh, emotions they are having towards you and they will come towards with this uh, uh, emotions here coming and letting you know how they truly feel about you they will express their feelings here um, they will make their uh, feelings towards you uh, known here and you also have age of 37 this person could be or maybe you are third chakra angel camuel here with the third chakra here i'm getting that um this person desires you uh, here uh deeply like they feel this strong attraction towards you here um again um I feel like with this uh, card as well, there is an offer that is going to be presented to you here soon. Uh, speaks of those uh, uh, 
um, increased enthusiasm that this person is feeling about you or maybe um, you're feeling towards about them the same way here um, I feel like um, again it's a confirmation message of the desire card this person definitely has the strong desire to be with you to have you in their life to have a connection with you here maybe moving together for some of you here or just make your uh, connection be official as well let's see what else here how is this person feeling towards my pile number two here oops trials uh, sunny in Sagittarius here so you and this person might be going through some sort of challenges at the moment maybe uh, there is a distance between you and this person here doesn't have to be maybe this person is working uh, from an uh, and um, they've been departed in another city if they work in the army uh, police um, something like that I'm getting here for some of you but definitely there are some um, issues that you guys need to solve here if um, could be personal issues that you guys need to solve them individually here or together as a couple here uh, maybe there is this distance that um, it's making it hard for both of you here or maybe you guys even that you guys love each other have deep feelings towards one another could be that um, you guys are living at a distance here and this could be a challenge for some of you is what i'm getting here let's see some zodiacal signs for my pile number two here okay so for some of you you have venus here so this could be uh, this person uh, zodiacal sign could have some venus in their chart here or maybe you have uh, again that venus speak of the goddess of love here of uh, fertility of abundance here so this is how they see you here they're very drawn to you um i think i also saw the moon card i'm not sure okay let's see what else yeah okay uh so this could be that um whatever fears you guys been having here they need to be resolved also this tells me that those in this person feels those intense intense emotions towards you that all coming to the surface and they all won't be able to hold them uh hidden from you for much longer they will come to the surface here also you have aries for some of you but let's get one more card here for you You also have a Libra here for some others of you and Taurus at the bottom of the deck. And let's grab some initials for my pile number two here. So you have F, R, double E here, O, M, C, and another R here so uh, this is what I had for you guys if this resonated with you let me know in the comments down below if you feel like it of course if you want to share um, this with me uh, doesn't have to be a text you can just leave an emoji so emoji so I know that this uh, reached the right person here and that uh, it resonates with you guys also consider leaving a like to the video if you guys enjoy it and this resonated with you and of course consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that already if you want to support it here um, offer your support to this channel of course and of, um, if you want to see more videos like this one uh, check out my other videos and i wish you guys to have an amazing day night depending on the times when you're watching this bye my pile number three if you guys been drawn to this clear quartz crystal here or to this image here let's see what's your message this is your uh, image a message for you 
I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a tender and heartfelt affirmation of your love and connection with this person here. Right off the bat, from the beginning, this person wants you to know that they're thinking about you and that their uh, love for you is deep and... Uh, if you needed a confirmation message that uh, the feelings between you and this person are being re uh, created here, well, they are. Uh, you have uh, your confirmation here. Uh, a message for you is this direct communication of affection and caring that this person is uh, wants to transmit in this reading for you here, my pile three. Uh, it speaks of that uh, dynamic of uh, you and this person that there is a strong and present awareness of each other here. Here. This tells me that um, thoughts of love are being uh, actively sent and received by uh, both of you here. And uh, this tells me that you guys have this profound emotional bond with each other here. Uh, your love fills me with uh, light here. Uh, I feel like this message speaks of the positive influence and joy that uh, this relationship brings into this person's life or into both lives here. Uh, it's a recognition of the warmth and bright, uh, brightness that your uh, partner's love instills with you here uh, and you're instilling with them here. Uh, I feel like there is this mutual appreciation here between you and this person. Um, you guys, both of you are nurturing uh, the presence of the love into your life here. And um, this is, as I said, uh, that assurance of this uh, re uh, re uh, reciprocal uh, love and uh, uh, the importance of acknowledging the love that exists between you and this person here. Um, let's, uh, let's move forward and see what else, oops, actually, let me show you the message here. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say for you here, my pile number three. So, for my pile number three and the person on their mind, show me the messages I need to see here. Oh my god, I think I flipped over some cards, but whatever. For pile number three, show me the messages I need to see between pile three and the person on their mind. Okay, my pile number three, let's see here. So this person current feelings towards you here, you have wise counselor, uh, I'm getting that this person uh, it's very uh, involved in the relationship with you, this person currently wants to maybe take this relationship if they haven't done already to the next level, they want to offer you commitment for some of you, this could actually this person uh, be thinking about marriage with you here. Uh, they want to be united here with you in the spiritual and the mind as well, spiritual and uh, in mind as well. Um, they might be asking uh, for some divine guidance here in order uh, for them to uh, navigate this connection with you better. And uh, they find you to be very wise as well. This person just just want to take this connection is what I'm getting to the next level here with the wise counselor. Um, this person also for some of you could uh, feel that might be some uh, traditional uh, differences between you and them. Like you guys might have this b different uh, cultural background or maybe you guys are uh, having... Um, different uh, traditions uh, you might be believing in different religions here and um, they want to work on those challenges with you if this uh, it was one of the challenges you guys been facing in the connection with this person here uh, as i said for others of you this person actually wants the, something stable here with you in their feelings uh, they want stability here and um, they want to take this relationship to the next level if they haven't done already could be actually marriage here and let's see your feelings towards this person here 
you just have a lot of passion for this person here with the knight of wands um you're finding this person to be very confident very charismatic uh you're a bit little uh, restless here you're um a bit afraid that uh, there is only this passion between you and this person uh, you're not sure if this person actually feels the same way like you do towards them this could be a uh, more newly love here or uh, a flirt that's uh, developing between you and someone here um, you want this person to take action towards you uh, I'm seeing you trusting your instincts you're staying focused and you have this passionate relationship with this person here let's see this person uh, intention towards you here oh they want to move the things here fast between you and them um they want to communicate as much as possible with you um you could be having um, this distance between you and this person maybe you guys are more uh, communicating online uh for some of you is what i'm getting but I'm seeing that uh, their intention is to have this fast movement towards you and them here. You have too much going on, stress caused by positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. Maybe this person at the moment is uh, traveling for business. Maybe they want to travel towards you here if you guys are living in another city, another country. Uh, but they just want to move things to the next level again. They have as well, um, you have... Um, the knight of wands and they have the eight of wands here so this tells me that the passion as well it's being reciprocated between you and this person you both are drawn to each other here uh, there are a lot of sparks a lot of uh, enthusiasm here happening between you and this person here um, and this person i see them wanting to move things here they just want to have this rapid change between you and them here let's see your intentions towards this person here you have the three of swords here um in your intentions is to heal whatever it's been causing both of you to feel sad to feel wounded to feel uh, down here uh, you just want to let go of any mm, bad things that happen between you and this person here or maybe you want uh, to heal from another connection here and uh, jump into a new one with this person here for some of you um you just uh, your intention is to have this uh, uh growth in the relationship with this person you just want to um move past any challenges that are coming your way in and this connection here and you just want to heal any misunderstandings maybe that happened here as well and you just want to be uh, your intention is to be uh, a support pillar for this person here and i feel like they want to do the same with those pillars here as well uh you just want to be there for this person when they need it the most here especially if they've been stressed out if they've been going through heartbreak as well you just want to be there for this person and help them heal from whatever challenges or uh, sadness um, they've been going through here so take it as it resonates let's see the blockage between you and this person here you have the four of cups here as a blockage this tells me that uh, maybe both of you are a bit unsure about uh, as i said i'm still getting that uh you maybe haven't fully disclosed how you uh, feel for, for one another here uh you're afraid that this is a sided uh, one side connection for some of you here maybe for some of you even that this person feels that it's right you don't you're i don't know you're not sure that this this is what you want here or maybe they're not sure that this is what they want um i don't know someone here is like lost in thought here maybe because uh there is too much passion too much attraction between you and this person might scare you both and you guys are uh, um, going through this um 
uh, moments where you're kind of missing the point of this connection, you're uh, starting to be afraid, you're just causing pain here to yourself for no reason is what I'm getting. That's your advice. You have here in your advice, three of wands, opportunity here, planning for a long term, abundance from past choices, br uh, pride in uh, the success of your labor, be patient as uh, you decide what's next. So I feel like your advice is not to take any um, rush or uh, rush into anything, just uh, be patient here, wait for the opportunity to present itself here. Maybe this person needs to come uh, and... Um, uh, disclose their feelings towards you in the blockage here with the four of uh, water maybe you guys are uh, at the beginning as i said this is what i'm getting for some of you maybe you both just been through separation and um either you now you're coming back together with this this person here is what i'm getting or you're just uh both been going through some uh, separation from a uh, past relationship and you're still healing from it and you're kind of uh, walking uh, here in this connection with a lot of care being afraid having a lot of worries here um and you want to rush in but i feel like you're a bit scared to take action uh, maybe uh, because of the uh, night of fire energy, maybe this person is keep coming in and out of your life here and this is uh, causing this uh, discontentment here or makes you feel a bit sad at times. But we'll clarify and see what else we get for you. And strength here as your overall energy. So I'm getting that someone needs to find the courage to come clear with uh, how they feel here. I feel like that's the main issue here that you guys didn't disclose how you truly feel about one another. And you both are afraid if you are going to extend your hand to one another, you'll feel that this person is going to reject you and you're f uh, fearful that you'll have to uh, go through this heartache again you're feel you're going to feel sad here um but yeah i feel like uh, we might be dealing with a leo here for what uh, i'm seeing um a lot of fire sign over this reading so this could be a sag aries or a leo uh, again strong leo is what i'm getting for some of you um you also have some air signs so this could be a libra gemini or aquarius or you also have a bit of water here pisces cancer or scorpio and the taurus here with the wise counselor um let's clarify here and see what's going on for you here in this connection my pile number three so why is the wise counselor here for my pile number three hmm. you have here the moon card so you also might be dealing with a cancer here uh, but I feel like there are some fears related to uh, when it comes to the, this person and commitment here. Maybe they're a bit scared that things are happening too fast between you and them here. They uh, want to explore a bit more maybe the connection. Again, I feel like this person is holding their feelings hidden from you here with the moon card but they're about to surface here i feel like this person it's uh even if they have fears to express how they feel uh i'm getting that they'll come towards you with this communication and everything it will feel like oh so revealing uh it will bring a lot of happiness towards you here it will make and create those sparks of uh, uh joy uh, again, you also have the eight of wands here. So whatever it's been, uh, this person been uh, keeping hidden with the moon card from you, uh, they want to speak about it. They want to communicate either be it their feelings, either their fears they have regarding this connection. But I feel like they want to express how they feel towards you here. I'm getting that this person actually loves you here. They have these deep uh, emotions that they're feeling here with the Ace of Cups. And uh, they want to have this beginning in love with you here. This could be a new love uh, for some of you is what I'm getting here. 
I feel like uh, the problem, the issue between you and this person, oh sorry, is that you guys haven't fully disclosed uh, your feelings with one another here. You never reach that point is what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, clarify the wise counselor with the moon here for five, three. Okay. Yeah, this person, uh, I feel like they will uh, just um, find the courage to come towards you and give you an offer. So you have the blockage, the four of cups and the... Uh, in uh, their feelings towards you here you have the four of cups so this person as i said they might have some fears that if they come in disclosure that they want something more from this connection they want to reveal how they feel about you and underneath it you have the uh knight of cups and ace of wands so if they will come and reveal how they feel about you i will they they are a bit afraid that you'll reject them with the four of cups here Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, why is the Knight of Fire here for my file number uh, three? So clarify the Knight of Fire here for file three. Okay. Um, I'm getting that you're feeling a bit stressed. You might not be sleeping uh, a lot of at night here. You might be losing some sleep over this person here. Uh, you're afraid here, my pile number three, that this person is just going uh, to be this um, a fling here. Uh, something that it's going to pass as fast as it it's, uh, got into your life here is what I'm getting. That's how you're feeling towards this person at the moment. You're a bit afraid that um, they are like a player. Uh, maybe they're showing up as this player energy, but I don't, I don't uh, see it here, to be honest. Um, there is this sense of destiny that you're feeling towards this person with the wheel of fortune here. And you want some things to change here. Maybe uh, you just want to... Um, be official their girlfriend their boyfriend um or just uh, i don't know get married with this person just uh, take it to the next level here let's get one more card here for the knight of wands and nine of swords here for pile three nine of pentacles here this is telling me that you might be afraid that this person uh it's not ready or maybe you're not ready then this is causing you a lot of stress here pile three uh to commitment or maybe you're afraid that this person it got used to it being single for so long that they won't offer you any kind of commitment. Here is what I'm getting. Uh, for some of you, you might be afraid that this person, because they look so good, they are so charismatic, you're being so drawn to them that um, other people will, uh, will uh, take, uh, take them away from you is what I'm getting and this is causing you a bit of stress here and anxiety and sadness and worries. Uh, let's see this uh, eight of wands um, but before I go there with this nine of pentacles I also feel like uh, uh, you're seeing this person as being someone that can take care of themselves you're uh, being again very drawn to them uh, physically especially you find this person to be very attractive very beautiful um, you like the way this person looks overall and um, you think that they could be a good match for you and that could scare you a bit you maybe you, you might be also feeling that you're not worthy enough of this person here you have those lingering touch into your mind on the back of your mind I don't know Let's see the eight of wands here for my pile number three. 
yeah this person who wants to change the things they want to bring stability into your connection with the 401s here they want to celebrate something here as i said uh, for some of you this person just wants to take this connection to the next level with you they want to move in with you for some of you for others of you they just want to make it official is what i'm getting here uh, if you guys are at the in the new stages of the relationship where you are still flirting i feel like this they just want to make you official theirs um this could be also for some of you i'm seeing marriage coming your way here that this person might, might propose to you here uh they want to provide for you here with a knight or a king of pentacles uh they could be also an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn again more fire energy but what I'm getting here that uh, definitely they want to offer you something stable here. Stability, they want to be the provider for you here. That's in their intentions here. So they have good intentions towards you. They want to have this happy family. They want to create a legacy with you here. My pile number uh, three. Okay, let's check what's with this um, three of swords into your intentions towards this person here so for my pile pile my pile number three here why is the three of swords two of wands uh, you see a future with this person here you're making plans you might be um thinking of traveling towards them especially if they live at a distance from you um you're looking forward towards a future with this person and as i said with the two of wands you want to be that uh support for this person uh you're also wanting this uh, ten of pentacles energy here uh to build a stable foundation with this person have that legacy with them create a family even or just have a commitment relationship here uh, let's see the four of uh, cups here. Why is the four of cups here for my pile number three? Yeah, uh, the lack of balance in the connection here. Uh, maybe you guys are too busy at the moment are just focusing uh, your attention somewhere else here and that's why none of you it's actually taking um, a step towards uh, making some sort of an offer towards uh, another here but uh, the challenge here is like the blockage here is to uh, make a decision here and come to an uh, with an offer here um, in order for this connection to blossom and move forward here and you also have the ace of pentacles here the moment you guys uh, someone here will make the decision to come to with an offer i feel like the relationship is going to change the dynamic here It's kind of you both are failing to recognize the opportunity here that been given to you by the universe here. But I feel like this person it will be the one that will take action towards you here with that four of cups. And the eight of wands. Four of Wands is some good news that will bring you reasons to celebrate and make you happy and bring you a lot of joy. Here's something that will bring stability towards you. Uh, let's see the advice here with the Three of uh, Wands for you, my pal Three. Clarify the advice here. The Three of Wands. Clarify the Three of Wands. the hierophant again um the advice is here to just uh, learn from past mistakes here and uh plan for the long term the advice is here to just um just learn from whatever happened in the past and don't repeat those mistakes then that will bring you this commitment marriage uh, ten of cups energy that you guys been wanting and wishing for here 
that happy family with someone uh, it will bring you the opportunity to just have your own family here to create uh, a family with someone if that's what you always wanted and you failed to have it because uh, maybe there weren't the right person for you the timing was not right uh, some other blockages that been uh, in the way here but I feel like uh, the uh, things are going to change for you here you'll have reasons to celebrate and be happy my pile number three especially with the person will come and reveal their feeling towards you here pride uh, maybe there is a pride standing on both uh, sides here that's why you guys haven't revealed uh, how you both feel about another you're waiting for this person to make the step towards you they're waiting for you to make the step towards them maybe you just both letting the pride to stay in the way of this connection here let's see what else for you how is this person currently feeling towards my pile number three here okay this one wanted to come out how oh, they want to be intimate with you here they just want to have that uh, candlelight bath with you is what i'm getting here they just want to be uh, able to hold you close to just be intimate with you um just be there in the present moment with you they could be your divine masculine here with this card so they could be uh your soulmate here you're you're just with your counterpart at the moment or this person is your counterpart here is what i'm getting um what else how is this person feeling towards my pile number three here great adventure take a risk venture forward so as i said with that eight of wands four of cups energy from this person coming here uh they want to uh jump on a great adventure with you when it comes to this relationship they are willing to take a risk even though they have fears i feel like this person wants to venture forward and see where this connection is going to lead you here you also have journey by moonlight believe in magic here so i feel like this connection is going to be feeling very magical for both of you here and you also have rejuvenating grain clear the past heal the present so um, maybe both of you need to do some healing uh, here as well either from the past relationships or uh, either in the, your own relationship with this person in order to have this amazing uh, connection and uh, stability in the connection here and uh, for this connection to lead to something greater uh, to have um, long-term uh, connection here commitment connection or just uh, get married here definitely there is something to needs to be healing here especially on your side with the three of swords or maybe on their side if you're the one that is supporting this person and trying to uh, heal and there you're just being here uh, for the uh, sorry healing journey so for my pile number three how is this person feeling towards my pile three blossoming abundance so great things it's about to happen for you here in this connection i feel like this connection is gonna blossom it will bring both of you a lot of abundance happiness joy as i said i see more um, with the four of wands um uh, reasons to celebrate and be happy in this connection with this person here especially when the dynamic is going to change when the things are going to move rapidly here in your favor is what i'm getting you both want this you both just uh, have feelings for one another so um again i forgot to ask so for my pile number three how is this person feeling towards my pile number three here so you have uh, Taurus here, you might be dealing with the Taurus, you have chemistry here. Um, they want to work together with you. They want to have this uh, 
happy family with you they wanna they are seeing you being like um their wife here is what i'm getting they want to cook together with you they want to um, live together with you is what i'm getting my pile tree uh, they want to just have this wonderful uh, and intimate moment together with you here they just want to enjoy one another here i feel like I see you, uh, if you guys uh, are leaving or will move together with this person, having this intimate nights, nice, waking up in the weekends, uh, cooking the meals together after a hot uh, party of uh, sex <laughs> here. Uh, you're just living uh, the dream relationship uh, is what I'm getting. It will feel magical here for you guys. And you also had earlier discovery, so this person just wanna uh, discover you more here, and also had rat. So maybe for some of you, if this person hurt you here with the three of swords, with the rat card you saw earlier from this deck, maybe they're feeling that you're still mad or upset about uh, what they done here. But uh, you also have at the bottom of the deck Pisces here. You might be dealing with the Pisces, and you also have the well, the Moon in Pisces uh, desire cards. So this person as i said uh, they're very attracted to you uh, they desire to have you especially in bed here they just want to have those intimate moments to, with you here they cannot take their hands off you uh the way this person is just uh, holding her there on her shoulder while cooking i feel like this person just want to be close 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 to you here they just want to be like uh, always next to you they can't get enough of you it's what i'm getting um you guys i'm seeing that this person might want to have this romantic nights nice with you uh, we also have that uh, bat uh, candlelight battle battle bat <laughs> oh my god <laughs> maybe you guys i don't know having some battles in the shower i have no clue <laughs> uh but um yeah, this person just want to be very, very intimate with you. They they have strong feelings towards you. And I, I feel like this person is dreaming about having you in uh, their uh, bed a lot. They keep having this uh, intimate um, dreams about you. Here is what I'm getting. They are often waking up, um, you know, excited about you. <laughs> And let's see some um, zodiacal signs here for my pile number three. So what's this person's zodiacal sign will be here? Uh, they could be an earth sign for some of you, Virgo, Gemini, or, uh, sorry, Virgo, uh, Taurus, or Capricorn. What else here? What uh, zodiacal sign this person could have for my pile number three? They could also be an air sign for some of you. Um, Gemini, Capricorn. Oh my god, why am I messing this two up? Gemini, Virg Gemini Libra, or um, Aquarius. Oh my god, I don't know. One more card. Let's see. One more card for my pile. Oh, for my pile today here. Okay, this one wanted to come out with a Scorpio and uh, for others of you could be a water sign here at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Mm, strong Scorpio as well. Let's grab some initials. And this could be your initials, their initials. Those don't have to be, of course. But for those that need confirmation message. Okay, wow, I got so many this time. Whoops. Let's see. So you have here N, E, L, H, S, P, D, O, R, another N. A, A, C, and another C. 
so this is what i had for you guys if this resonated with you let me know down below in the comments just put an emoji it doesn't have to uh be a full comment there but i'll be much appreciative of it uh, to know that it reached the right persons here and my readings are resonating with you guys also if you want to support this channel please leave a like uh, if you guys of course enjoyed this reading and resonated with you and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet and of course if you want to see more content like this one check my other videos take care and be